there and welcome to Mrs Patnell's Phonic Session 2 of this week. Uh, today we're going to look at a new sound, or in fact two new sounds in one go. And we kind of put these two together because they're kind of similar. So they have a H as their second letter in their, um, as part of their digraph. Okay, and they're not too tricky. This one in particular, because we've experienced this one with common exception words like what and when. Okay, because this is the wu and the h together, but it's really like the h. He's just doing nothing. Okay, he's just having a holiday, or you could just say working with the wu just to make the wu sound. Okay, so when you see wu and h together, not just in tricky common exception words, but in other words now, then you'll know that it just makes the wu sound. Okay, just as if it was all by itself. So wu is one of them. I guess we do two because that one's quite easy. We almost practically know that already from common exception words. So this one, it has a h as well, okay? And it has a p at the beginning. Now this is really odd because these two, when they're together, make a, I'm going to put these down to do it, so this is the movement we do in my class, a f sound, okay? Like the letter F, the letter F. So when you see p and h together, they make a f sound. So our new sounds today will be f and w. Okay, so we're going to come back to those two shortly. Right, before we do, I think we should revisit a couple of old sounds by writing them on our board. Could we have a go at doing... I'm going to do a mixture of our new phase fives and some phase threes. Can we have a go... Oh, what am I doing? Actually, one second. Let's go through our flashcards. That's how we always start our lesson, isn't it? Let's have a little tidy up here. Okay, so phase five ones will be on top. They're in pink, so try and remember what we've learnt over the last about eight or nine lessons. And then we'll move on into the phase three ones. So here we have or. Ooh, but sometimes it can make a U sound. Okay, so in blue, but l u, it makes an u sound in the word blue. But if we go with the word argue, argue, it makes a u sound, not an u sound. So r g u. So it could be a u sound or an u sound. So it's u in blue, but it's u in argue. So it can vary, okay? If it's flu, like on the chimney flu, then it's an oo sound. Um, can I think of any others where it's a u sound? Not off the top of my head, my mind's gone blank. So it can be oo or u, it's important to remember. Okay? And this one. It's another way of making the a sound, usually on the ends of words or syllables. Oi! Another way of doing the oi sound, usually on the ends of words or the ends of syllables. E, another e sound. Another ow sound. Remember how phase five are lots of the sounds we've heard before but written differently. Another er uh sound, like we needed another er uh sound. Moving on to the phase three ones now. Yeah, sometimes er, uh, but usually yeah. Another er uh sound. Mm. Oh. Uh. Air. Whoop. Ooh. And there's two of them, usually at the ends of words or the ends of syllables. This one. Or the louder th. The. And this one, aye aye, Captain. And this one, or oh, with our floppy donkey ears. This trigraph we need to pull out of our ear. That's the ear trigraph. And this single sound is z. z. E, 
a o e j y ch a i u o u and ow another owl sound okay so that's all of our flash cards that we've learned so far all phase three and quite a, a watch of phase five now as well let's have a go at revisiting some on your board can you write the um, let's have a look from our news new phase five you can write this but if you remember the phase three way of writing it too then write them both on your board so let's have a go at writing owl on your board see if you can remember the phase five way of writing owl and the phase three way of writing owl see if you can write them both on your board i'm about to flash mine now so if you're not quite ready then you can pause the video so here we have the new phase five owl way of writing it, oh and an ah, uh, and then the good old phase three way of writing it, an oh and a woo. Remember, this is cursive, so that's why it might look a bit odd if you're just tuning into these videos. So that's the owl sound, okay? So using the top owl, right, this one with the oh and the ah, uh, can you have a go at writing shout? Because that's the owl you need in shout. So you can use what you've written already and then either side put the other sounds that you need. There are one, two, three sounds in shout. You've got your middle diagraph, so you're looking for a sound at the beginning and a sound at the end. So write shout on your boards now. I'm going to do it two. Okay, so I have added a sh, then I've got the ow sound, then a t. Shout. With your other owl sound of the O on the W or the O and the W to use their names, can you write the word how? As in, how can I do this? So you just need to add one sound at the beginning for how. And there is how. Huh. And then the owl sound, okay? Right, now can we have a go at revisiting? Hmm, let's have a look. Can you do the E sound, E sound? Can you do the phase five way and the phase three way of the E sound? Can you remember them both? Hmm. I'm going to do my phase five way at the top and I'm going to do my phase three way. I've just lost my pen there, where did that go? Phase three way at the bottom of my board, okay? So pause the video if you're still thinking and you want more time to think about it, but my pen, as I say, is running out. But here is my phase five way of the E sound. And then if I lift the board up, here is my phase three way, an E and an F, nice and easy. So those are both the E sound. Can you turn the top one, the phase five E sound, the E and the F, or the E and the A to use their names, and make the word bead, like you've got a nice beads or bead on your necklace. So you need a three sounds in bead, you've already got your E sound, so you need a sound either side to correctly spell bead. So here is bead, I hope you can see that with my dodgy pen. B, new E sound, D, bead. Using the other E underneath, the phase three E sound, can you have a go at writing reef, like a coral reef that's underneath the ocean, those beautiful sort of rocky things under the ocean? Can you write reef? There are three sounds in reef. You've already got the digraph in the middle. So it should look like this. I don't know if you can see it. E, F, reef. Okay, like a coral reef. Fabulous. Let's do one more. Let's revisit phase five and phase three of the sound oi. Okay, so write phase three and phase five of the oi sounds. Oh, one pen has completely given up. Okay, so I have wrote, well actually this time I've done my phase three at the top, so apologies for mixing you around. So there is my phase three oi, the one we've known for some time now with the o and the i. Or you can do the phase five one, which is the o and the y. 
Okay, so that's the new one we've learnt. Now the O on the Y one tends to come at the ends of syllables or the ends of words. The other one could be pretty much anywhere, beginnings or middles, okay? So we're going to use the O I one, the phase three one, to write, hmm, what should we write? Let's write coin. So we've got some money, we're going to write coin. So there are three sounds in coin. You've already got your digraph, which is going in the middle of coin. What can you hear at the beginning and what can you hear at the end? I'm going to come very close because my pen is about to die out. So coin, k, and it's a curly one. Oi sound we've known for a while and a n coin. Can you use the bottom oi sound with the o and the y to write? Um, let's go with toy. Let's write toy. So only two sounds in toy. What do you need to add to that new oi sound? And it is a t. You can just about see it disappearing there. T oi toy. Right, that's enough of our revisiting our sounds there. Let's have a look at our new sound now. Our new sounds, should I say, as we're doing two today. Let's have a little tidy up on my desk so we don't get confused. So, looking back at them both again, we have woo and we have f. Woo, f. Remember, woo, woo is just the, what it would make without the her. So it's not too tricky when you see the her. Pretty much doing nothing. This one, put and hat, is kind of strange to think of it as a f, but start recognising it when it pops up now. Don't say p, p, because there's hardly any words that would have those sounds together. When they are together, they will make the f sound. Right, let's have a go at writing them in the air first of all. So take your magic marker finger. Now remember, I'm going to do them cursively because that's how my class do it. These are not cursive. Unfortunately, I've printed off an ordinary version, but do them how you do them in your class. If you want to give cursive a go, you can do, because it will help you with your joined writing as you move towards year two. But, folding, flicky, oh, sorry, folding, flicky finger, magic marker finger, bring it down, we're going to start at the bottom, we go up, we come down, we go up again, round, and we tickle the belly of the p with our cursive flick. And then for the h next to it, we go up tall, and down the same line, up, over with one arch and a flick to finish. Okay, that's our f sound. Have a go writing it on the table while I try and bring my pen back to life. Actually, in fact, I'm just going to write with a biro pen on the back of a piece of paper. Just you're not going to be able to see what I'm writing. So when you've done it on the table, let's have a go at writing it together. So we are doing the f sound. So I'm going to take my biro pen, and if I'm doing it cursively, I'm going to whoosh up, come down low, because P is one of those letters that dips its tail in the water, back up to the top, round, and tickle the belly. So that's my P. And then my H, I'm going to start at the bottom, go up really tall for the H, it's a tall letter, over with one arch and a flick to finish. And that is what your F should look like, okay? And then let's have a look at woo, woo, which is the woo and the her taking a holiday. All right, so let's have a go writing it with our magic marker finger. Now we would, when we cursive, whoosh up before we even start doing anything with the letter. So we're whooshing up. We go down, up, down, up, and we finish with a little arm, like it's reaching out to touch the next letter. And then next to it, we must do the her. We start with our cursive whoosh up tall. Come straight down, over with one arch and a flick to finish. And that's our new woo sound as well. Have a go on the table while I'm getting my paper ready. Do the woo sound on the table. And then, just looking to see if I have a better felt tip pen that you'll be able to see it better. Then I'm going to write it with you on your boards or your paper if you have some in front of you. So I'm going to take my pen. I would teach my class to cursively whoosh up, come down, up, down, up, and a little arm reaching out. So that's what my woo would look like. But then the hat is there doing very little whooshing up tall, coming down the same line, halfway up, over with one arch and a flick to finish. And that's your woo sound, okay? Now we're gonna have a go at writing some words with those new sounds in, okay? 
these two new sounds will be in these words and that's how I want you to make them, okay? So, the first one I want you to write is a nice easy one and actually it's no longer a tricky word. It comes in our common exception words but now that we know that woo is like this in many places, it's not really that tricky anymore, this word. So can you have a go at writing when? When. There are three sounds in when. When you hear the woo sound, you know it's going to be written how we're learning it today. So have a go at writing when on your board. I'm going to do it now too and share it with you. So if you want more time to think about those three sounds, then pause the video, okay? But here is when. We have got our new, a bit wonky here, our new sound of the day, woo, with the what and the her together, and then simply eh, mm. So now that's no longer a tricky word, we can blend that and read it, when. Now have a go, still with the woo sound, of writing wheel, wheel on your board. There are three sounds in wheel, what are they? It will have today's new sound in there, okay? So don't forget to write it in the way we have been looking at it in this lesson. Right, I am going to share mine with you now, so pause it if you haven't got round to it yet. Wheel, today's new sound, e ooh, wheel. If you put the new e, a for your e sound in wheel, do not worry. Remember what I've said. Your teachers will be really pleased that you've remembered one of the E sounds. So don't worry. Don't sit there for ages holding a pencil thinking, well, I don't know which E sound it is, so I'm not going to try. Don't do that. Your teacher would love you to have a go. Even if it's the wrong E sound, it is fine. That is what she wants you to do or he wants you to do, okay? So don't get yourself all worried about which E sound to write or which sound to write in future. Okay, one more with the woo sound. Can you write whisper? Whisper. It is a two syllable word. Tackle whis first, tackle per afterwards. If there are any sounds that you know several ways to write them, pick which one you think it is. Don't sit there worrying about it, okay? So whisper. I'm going to get a new bit of paper for this, for I have run out of room. Whisper. So I'm going to tackle whis first of all. Whis. Thinking of my new sound of the day. And then I'm going to tackle syllable two, which is per. I know what I can hear there. Okay, so there were five sounds in whisper. Today's sound of the day. Woo. I. S. Whisper. Uh, whisper. There we go. Right, now we're going to move to write words for this one, okay? For the new f sound. So when you hear f, you know this is how it's going to be written, okay? So, can you have a go at writing? And this is a two syllable word, in fact, all of these are. Graphics. Graphics. I can hear the f sound in the second syllable. So can you write graphics on your paper? Tackle gra first, then tackle fix. Fix. So it's not a x on the end, okay? Graphics. Right, I'm going to write gra. I can hear three sounds in gra. And then I'm going to do the second syllable, fix. But I know it's going to have the new sound of the day in it there. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sounds in graphics. It's a big word to write. Gra, gra, was syllable one. New sound of the day. Fix graphics. If you got that right, well done. That was not an easy one to do. Next one, phonics. The f at the beginning of phonics is made with the way we are learning today, okay? That's quite interesting. So phonics, tackle phon, then do ix, phonics. So syllable one, I know it's a new way of doing it, it's not with a letter f, it's with my new sound of the day. I've done phon, I'm going to do syllable two, which is ix. Six sounds in phonics. Oops, if you haven't wrote yours yet, then pause the video. 
but here is how to write phonics. Sound of the day, f-o-n, fon, syllable one, ics, phonics. One more with the f sound in. This one has three syllables, three syllables. Are you ready? Alphabet, alphabet. When you hear the f, remember, it's the new way of writing it today. Alphabet. Tackle Al. Tackle Fa. And then tackle Bet. But remember, it's all one word. So no finger spaces. They're just syllables, aren't they? Not different words. So alphabet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sounds in alphabet. Pause it if you're still thinking about it. That's fine, but I'm going to share it now. Here's alphabet. A, U, A, L. New sound of the day. F, A, Alpha, B, E, T. Alphabet. If you got that right, pat yourself on the back. That is amazing, okay? That is really brilliant with our new sounds of the day. Now, this is turning into quite a long lesson, so I'm going to try and wind it up quite quickly now by showing you two sentences. And by all means, do please pause the video to read them yourself. I'm hoping you'll be able to see them clearly because they were done with my pen before when it was running out of steam. So this is um, sentence one. It's quite a long sentence, okay? So do pause the video, take your time with it, no rush. Remember, like I'm always saying, you, you can blend it quickly in your head now and then say the word out as a whole word quickly, that will be excellent. If you're still struggling with that, that is fine. Then you can blend out loud, that is fine. We're gonna tackle it together now. And I've put the sound buttons here to help you because it is getting quite tricky now that we're learning all these new ways of making similar sounds. So we have got woo, the sound of the day with a capital letter at the beginning. Woo, itch, which, it's, is, a, d, o, d, o, u, d, o, f. Sound of the day, dolphin, dolphin, which is a dolphin, and here's one here, but et, uh, but et, uh, better, which is a dolphin, better at, at, so which is a dolphin better at, is it, j, up, jump, in jumping or sw sw in swimming which is a dolphin better at jumping or swimming and a question mark what do you think which is a dolphin better at jumping or swimming i think probably swimming Turn it over, a bit shorter this sentence. Pause the video to read it yourself. And now we're going to tackle it together. Oh, it's rubbing out a little bit. But this is our sound of the day at the beginning. Can I get it to show up a bit more? No, unfortunately I can't. So, our new f sound with a put on her. F-o-n, phonics. Phonics, we just wrote that. Phonics is, with a slightly tricky making a z sound phonics is about about using our new owl sound s owl there it is again s owl and z s and z sounds phonics is about sounds it is all about sounds isn't it good sentence with finger spaces and a full stop at the end and a capital per at the beginning with no cursive wishes right that's good use of the new two sounds of the day i'm going to give you a sentence to write yourself i have it tucked here on my plan i would like you to write and it's quite a long sentence one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten words to write in this one. So get an adult to write it down for you in case you forget what it is, but we will say it a couple of times together. 
When will you take a photo of a big wheel? So a big wheel is like a ride at a fairground that goes very slowly and you can see for miles when you're at the top. So when will you take a photo of a big wheel? Ten words. Say it back to me. When will you take a photo of a big wheel? Good, well done. And you need to punctuate it, so think what type of a sentence is it? Is it just a statement telling me something? Or is it a question? Does it need an answer? So, punctuate it, capital letters at the beginning, and finger spaces. When will you take a photo of a big wheel? Show it to your adults, discuss which bits you didn't get right. Please don't stress about which sound, uh, how you write those sounds, because you know so many ways now. Just put down the one you remember. That will be excellent. And I will see you again tomorrow for another phonics session with Mrs. Patnell. Bye-bye.